okay, how to how to start strengthening that low back and the how to start training the back in different dimensions. I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite exercises that I have people do and that works well. Aside from deadlifts, um, deadlifts are a great exercise to strengthen the back. Um, there are other exercises though that you can do to strengthen uh, that area of the body. Uh, you're going to need a back extension. So you're going to need a you're going to need a back extension. I have one. This is from Amazon. I got it for about fifty dollars, and it's nice because you can take it anywhere with you. It's portable, and it gets this gets the job done. So it works. Um, you don't need to buy anything fancy. This works just fine. Uh, the reason I like this is it's pretty light and allows you to get some back extensions in, uh, but it also allows you to get some reverse hyperextensions. So reverse hyperextensions or a way for you to bring your legs up, squeeze your buns at the top, and strengthen that area of the body. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this up, the bag extension. Um, you just have it set up like this. This is where your legs go, and then I'm going to set my hips right here. Extension, I typically do this um, with the weight or with body weight. So if I'm on body weight, um, I just do, you know, regulars. And you can also get a barbell, so you would hold a barbell here, and you come up and back down. The barbell uh, gets a lot of rear delts and upper neck, so I like to do those really wide sometimes. Um, sometimes I'll hold a kettlebell and I'll do this as well to get the X uh, part of the low back. So I do this usually after uh, doing a heavy back day, and then and or a heavy glute hamstring day. Uh, but this is a regular back extension. Uh, you can also do lateral. Um, you can actually target that area um, depending on how you position your body on the back extension. Put my, my the foot that's closest to the bench in front and then I put the other foot back. And then I go, I go to the side, come up, side, come up. Um, right now I'm getting a lot more oblique but if I want to get more QL I come up and go to my knee so come up go to your knee back down go to your knee back down but this really gets that QL muscle which is pretty hard to get um, it's like deep in the low, uh, low back so my next favorite that I have people do is the reverse hyperextension um, the reverse hyperextension it's really good for the butt so if you want some nice gluteals you want some nice glutes you got to, you got to do the reverse hyperextension. Um, you can do it on a actual machine. I like it on this machine or on a bench. If I'm limited though, sometimes I will have someone do it on a Swiss ball because a Swiss ball is uh, comfy for the client or for the person. So now I'm going to show you that. So I simply lay down. I grab the back extension and I lift. Lift. This is for the nice buns. You want a nice bun? You better start watching my YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, um, it also gets the low back, which I really like it for. Um, this is obviously at a very um, inclined angle, so you notice I'm downwards. If you do it on the actual machine, the actual machine is a straight machine, so you're actually laying like this, and you're coming up on the actual machine. Um, I'll have a picture on the screen of what that looks like. If your gym doesn't have that, then you can do it on a bench, um, and then you can also do it on a ball. I prefer the back extension. I feel that going at that angle gets more of the glutes, but technically you can do this exercise on a bench, a GH, GHD machine, back extension, uh, and Swiss ball. And that's basically it. You can also technically do it at a dinner table. If you have like a dinner table at home, just lay on the table, let your legs hang, and that will actually help to release any sort of tension in the back. Um, so I typically have people, whenever I train clients, to uh, do this exercise as much as they can if they sit at home a lot, um, because sitting at home puts a lot of stress in the low back. And um, if they feel any sort of tightness, I say just do this exercise at the end of your day to help stretch you out and prepare you, or help, help to stretch you out and help to elongate those muscles. So that's the video on the back extension, different exercises you can do for your low back. Uh, <clears throat> the best thing I think you can ever do for your back is to stretch, stretch more, 
try to not sit too long. And if that's not possible with your job or your career and you sit a lot, then you need to find a way to maybe stand up and stretch in between because sitting for long periods of time puts a lot of stress on the back. So you gotta do something about it, right? So I like this back extension. I got mine, like I said earlier, from Amazon, only 20, only 50 bucks. Um, back extension, do that every day. Reverse hyperextension, do that every day. Uh, ideally before you go to bed, I, with what I suggest to clients, um, that's what works decently okay. And then also also try to work your body in the lateral motion too. Your body is in three, your body is designed in three dimensions. Your body is designed in the frontal plane, which is if I divide your body in front and back, uh, right, left, and then uh, circular, so transverse plane. So the lateral part works your body in a transverse plane. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that's the video on the back extension. Hope that was helpful, useful. Check out my other stuff, whatever I got going on below, and I'll see you in the next video.